little bit different. Um, I am making some bone broth and I'm gonna do it in my Instant Pot. And I have a chicken carcass here from my rotisserie chicken that we had for dinner last night. And instead of throwing that out, I'm gonna make bone broth. I used to do this all the time when we lived in the regular house. And I would just save a, um, a Ziploc bag in the freezer of chicken bones whenever we had any. And so there's not enough room for me to do the huge batch I normally would have in here. So instead of trying to do a huge batch, I'm gonna take this one chicken, put it in there, and I'm gonna add some rosemary, some black peppercorns, some apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of garlic. And this is, um, can be used for soups, but I'm doing it mainly to have something to drink. It's a very gut healing drink if you have any kind of um, problems with like your thyroid and things like that. This is a good alternative or a good choice instead of taking medication. So we're gonna get this going because it takes a while. I am going to use my basket. The handle comes off for cooking, but to get it in there, I'm going to leave this on, and it actually makes it very convenient for getting the chicken bones back out to just have the broth. So, I'm simply going to open this and take the whole chicken carcass, all of these bones, for what we need. So, the rest of this I'm just going to throw away because we don't need that. All right, so we're going to put this in our instant pot, and then I'm going to take one of my black peppercorns, I'm just going to put a few in my hand, drop them in on the rosemary. I'm going to just get some, drop them in. And then apple cider vinegar with the mother and make sure you shake it up good and this is a new one I need to get my, my plastic off and I'm only gonna pour in about the equivalent of um, a tablespoon of this. You don't need very much. There we go. So we have that in there now. And then for garlic, I'm just going to take like two cloves and um, get the skin off and just throw them in their hole. Actually, I might do three in there. It won't be too much. If I can get the skin off. There we go. And if you have any onion, you can throw it in. I do not have any onion today, so I'm not going to put any in, obviously, but that would make it better. You can also throw vegetables in, like carrots, um, celery, anything like that. <clears throat> we don't have any right now. Um, I need to go to the grocery store, but this will still be really good even without all that. So I'll show you what it looks like. That's what we're looking like so far, and that's just all the stuff that I just threw in. So now we're going to fill it up to water till it's like towards the top of that chicken. I ended up filling this up three times and adding it in, and that's how much water we get. So I'm gonna take the handle off because I don't wanna cook it with that in there and get the lid on, set it to ceiling. This is always the part that half the time I get it good on the first time I set it and half the time I don't. So it's on ceiling. So now I'm going to um, turn this on and we're gonna, we're gonna cook. I'm gonna do soup broth. It's gonna be on high pressure for two hours. When that's done, I'm gonna let it natural release for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna set it and do that a second time through. And you can do it up to three times too. But this will hold it warm until I am ready to restart that and we'll have some more. Okay, this has one minute left on the two hour cook time. And as soon as that one minute is done, we will um, let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour and it will hold warm, which hopefully I had that on. <laughs> 
and then once that goes through we'll just hit this button and do another two hour cycle it went off and now we're keeping warm and we'll let this go down it'll count down to um or count up for 30 this minutes this is actually now the 20 minutes holding warm from the second two hours that i did so i'm going to turn that off and i'm going to go ahead and see how much needs to be released so i'm going to put something on that so that we're not getting stuff everywhere. So I'm going to release this beam <laughs> and then we'll come back and show you it. That's what it looks like. So what I'll do now is I'll reattach my handle to be able to pull this out and then the bones and all that will come right out and I'm just left with the actual bone broth and I will let that cool completely before I try putting it in a jar. Before you try putting it in a jar, first of all, it's hot. You don't want to break the jar, but all that fat will come up to the top and you can skim a bunch of that off. So you don't have that, you just have the broth.